Today I'm going to show you how to create a vibrant painting using turquoise and orange together without getting any mud. After that we will do embellishment to give this artwork a beautiful 3D effect, so make sure to watch till the end and let's get started! Imagination is a secret message today. I'm working on 20 by 20 inches canvas and for my base I want to go for Prussian blue. Very beautiful dark color. Got quite a few brighter colors for two flows and let's get started with the base. So I'm just going to pour it out and working just with a solid color. It's not going to be a multicolor base. I have previously painted my sides because Prussian blue is quite a transparent color so that will help my sides have a better coverage. I just like to tilt it out after spreading just to help my colors level out. Okay, for the flow. So my embellishment is going to be in the center here. I want to have two flows on each side, but I like to keep them dynamic. So I want to create a diagonal movement and one going to be sort of this way, and this one we're gonna position, yeah, something like this. So for Prussian blue, it's amazing base. It works great with so many colors, but it works especially awesome with turquoise colors because they're sort of in the same family. So first I wanna create this initial layout with turquoise blue. So this is enough of turquoise blue. This is a turquoise green. So it just has a bit more green in it, but also similar color. See, it's even brighter. More green and more white in this one. And I want to have a couple of accents um, with orange, but I don't want to put the orange right over my turquoise because it's going to give me mud. So I want to create separation and I'm going to use this red violet color sort of as a border between my orange and turquoise. I think it will also bring nice depth to this color palette. It's a beautiful color. It dries also really dark. So let's... Oh, this is good. I think I want to have a little bit of that orange inside of this section here. Next, I want to have some silver. I think it also works nice with bluish and turquoise colors. You know what I'm missing? I need some white. Finally some white to create some nice highlights. Okay, let's blow it out. This is looking beautiful. Nice. And enough room in the center. I added a bit more Prussian blue here because I wanted to shift my... I wanted to have separation between this part and this part. And if I was to blow out right away, you probably saw that it was very tight. So if I would start blowing it out, I would actually probably blend everything together. So adding a little bit of base color helps to sort of separate them. All right, all right, let's work on some details. It's really not much I want to change, honestly. I love the pops of warm colors and this red violet definitely worked amazing here.
Look at that, I got a large blob of something here. Okay, this is why toothpicks are so handy on this side. Oh, you know what? Before we be done, I dragged this line here and it pulled all the orange from here. So I think I should do the same thing on the other side, or at least some of that. Yeah, see? It's nicer this way. It's more balanced. Okay, now they're singing the same song. <laughs> now they're perfectly, work perfectly together. So let's see how it dries and I'll meet you in the next step. The painting has dried beautifully and now I want to add an embellishment in the center of it and it will be a diamond shape. Why diamond? I'll share more about it at the end of the video. So I'm using just a regular masking tape to separate the area inside of which I'm going to be adding this embellishment. I want part of one of the flows to be in front of the shape, so I'm using the liquid latex to mask out this section. This is such a great tool to use if you want to keep some parts untouched. And use fine brush and be very precise when applying that latex. And next, let it dry. Usually it takes 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how big is that area that you covered. I really want my embellishment to be bright. So I'm using vermilion orange, and this is the same color that I used in the pour itself. And I'm applying paint right out of the tube. It's not mixed with water, pour medium, or anything else. Just pure thick paint and carefully cover the entire area with pretty thin layer. And I like to use flat synthetic brush for that. Vermilion orange is a pretty transparent color. I decided to blend in some matte vermilion red and some matte magenta into my initial layer to make it more vibrant and opaque so it really pops nicely. And next step, oh, it's probably one of my favorites. Carefully remove that tape and reveal those perfect lines and beautiful shape. You can see that the liquid latex also peeled off and the section underneath stayed untouched. Looking sharp, but not done yet. To make the shape more interesting, I decided to add a silver sort of outline inside of my diamond to really enhance the shape. So I'm using smaller tape at this time, definitely don't need a big one. And again, do all the necessary measurements and be as precise as possible. And finally, let's add that silver. I'm applying right out of the tube. And I have a lot of the same color, the same silver, all across my flows in my pour. So it will all match perfectly with the embellishment. Okay, time for another satisfying moment, removing that yellow tape. By the way, I do it right after I applied the paint. I don't let it dry. Be careful, move slowly so you don't smudge those beautiful, sharp lines. And voila, embellishment is done. Here it is. All done, finished, I covered it with a thin layer of glossy varnish. And before I show you the details, I have a quick announcement. Starting today, I offer gift certificates on my website for $50, and $200. And for this holiday season, all these gift certificates will be available with discounts. So for example, you can buy a $50 gift certificates for $40 and so on. And these uh, certificates can be applied towards pretty much everything that I sell on my website. Original paintings, fine art prints, epoxy, clear coat, online course, and a new course that will be out in 2023. Stay tuned for that, by the way. So if you're looking for a gift idea for your creative friends, loved ones, or even maybe for yourself, all the information about gift certificates will be in the description below the video. Check it out. Okay, back to this painting. I think it turned out really cool. I really love the combination of the straight lines and geometrical forms with all the curvy lines and movements. And I hide secret messages and symbols in pretty much all of my paintings. But this one is especially symbolic. So finally, let me tell you about my idea. So the diamond shape in some traditions is a symbol of knowledge and enlightenment. And combined with orange color, it's an excitement of learning and exploration. And turquoise color is quite opposite. It's a symbol of tranquility, creativity, and intuition, especially when combined with such free-flowing lines and shapes. So quite complementing meanings. And by combining all this symbology in one painting, I really wanted to encode the unity of powers that stand behind successful artistic process. 
So please let me know what you think about the concept, the idea, and of course the outcome. This original is available for purchase on my website and please tell me, would you like me to offer it as a print as well? I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for joining me today. Take care, create with passion, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.